Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host today, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you all back to the darkest road trip, where today we are going to do something we have never done before. That's right, everyone, we're doing something completely new. Well, as new as you can get. And you must be all wondering, Parafox, what can you possibly do at this point? For something you have never done before. And that's very simple, everyone. We will not be using the Plague Doctor for this run. That's right. We have relied on the Plague Doctor for every single run we have done in this game. Because she is very simply the best. She is the best waifu, the best healer, the best everything. But with distance, the heart grows fonder. And what more distance can you get than just leaving her behind? So we will not be using the Plague Doctor today. And we're going to have to rely on you. Yes, I know this is stupid, but i got to do something interesting. So, good occultist who is scared of cultists. How does the cultist get occultophobia? How? Either way, we'll then be taking the runaway. Nothing remains. Because cultarize is really, really powerful. Survive. Then, who shall we take after? Well, we do still need a stress healer, so hello, Mr. Jester. The murderous melody lingers long after the final chord has been struck. Sure, but who should be our main frontliner? Well, logically, it should be someone with, with sustain, shouldn't it, Baldwin? But someone decided to sprain their wrist. So I feel like we may just take Balduka instead. Instead of you, because you're a punch drunk. And I don't want you to being that. It really is the question, who is better? Baduka or Baldwin? Baldwin's got more health, he can hit harder. And Baduka, you can taunt and generally have more bleeding effects and whatnot. Plus, they have upped your damage to make you more of a damage dealer. Plus, we are taking the two combo heavy people, but I kind of want to abuse your comboing capabilities, if I'm fully honest. Because I know you can, like, burn other people with combo, so... Oh, screw it, I'll take Baduka. Let's we took Baldwin the last two, let's take Baduka. There is emptiness and shame. Sure. Now let's make sure we equip the right abilities, such as this Binding Shadow, which has a, the chance to give us untapped power, or whatever the hell that buff is called, which is going to be critical for worm reconstruction. Right. I've equipped all their abilities. Let's head into the valley and see what bonuses we can start off with. Shall we? Onward. And let us hope enough yet remains of the world. Indeed, let us hope. And hope that it hasn't all been destroyed in this short span of time that it's been. Perhaps I left this for you. Perhaps you left it for yourself. Either or, it's mine now. Perhaps it is not here That is amazing. Because if we're going to need anything on this trip without Perithius, it's going to be it good relations. You found the cipher, scribbled hastily in the decaying margins of some long-forgotten tome. Scribbled in blood. All right, what do you got to say this time? You always say something on this road, ancestor. What have you got to say? Comforts are exhausted. Nothing. Ahead, huh. only trial and Interesting. Really wasn't expecting nothing. So what do we fight first? Two zombies and that thingamajig. Oh goody. Well, let's figure out what this controlled burn does. Control burn. Inflicts two burn on monsters in this rank at the start of their turn. Oh, okay. You're now dead. Who gives a damn? You're now dead. Who gives a damn? Glorious. We're going to need to figure out how to get more untapped power, I think. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well Because I imagine relics. the 100% crit heal chance is going to be required 
in order to turn the occultist into an actual healer. Lower your guard. Okay, guys. Soften your gaze. We all heal to max, which is good. We can drink some whiskey between you two, making you hate each other. Or at least not like each other as much, I should say. Right, what are the roots Every asking for? Every road a winding torment. Keep the flame at 40 plus and avoid the watchtower. Bent on our destruction. Ooh, you increase passive healing. Ooh. Ooh, but you give mastery but the passive healing. Ooh. Planning and mindfulness. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. Yeah, we're definitely going to need the leaf suspension. I feel. Do I want to try the infernal flame this time? No. No, I do not. Experience. How have oh, that's a nice upgrade for your wicked hack. Making it so that they receive less healing if you've got a combo attached. Oh, an iron swan applies combo now. Oh. Yeah, they really buffed you, didn't they? Alright, let's upgrade the inspiring tune. Because stress is probably going to be the death of us. It normally is. Conventional fare. Triage kits. A regrettably necessary acquisition. Damn straight, it's necessary. It's bloody triage kits. I mean, I understand I got four healing salves, so it's still not too bad, but still. We're definitely going to need the glimmer of hope if we want to keep the flame above 40. Alright, well, because that is going to be stupid for us, let's go. To the sprawl. Where they do bleed us occasionally. So you will be able to heal us, Bonnie. And let's hope you can a lot. Now let's see what hero shrines we can get as well. Ooh. The Sprawl! Let's go. Behold. The great cities of man. Ruined. And aflame. Alright, what do I see and what do I know I need? We, kn we know we're going to need hero in uh, resistance encounters. So we can go to the cache, then to the hero shrine, then to whatever the Christ that is, then to that, then to that. We can hope some of the, one of these two is a fight so we can use our glimmer of hope. Or an assistance encounter. Man, you guys are bloodthirsty. Why is the Hellion the only one that isn't bloodthirsty? We're probably going to need the watchtower as well, is the thing. Just to see assistance encounters, like the one I just saw. Best to take all you can. Oh, damn straight we will. What the Christ is this? Steak and spuds. Sweet. I like that. Raven's Reach. Ooh. Mop bucket. Restorative herbs, relics, cow drops, and a smoke bomb. Mostly this thing. Who's our range damage dealer? Do we have a range damage dealer? You've got a tiny bit. You're focusing into melee this time. I guess it's you. By default. So which shy person of the hero shrine shall we seek out? I suppose will be the question. The Shrine of Reflection. The thing we always have to see. Let's see. You've got eight abilities. You've got nine. You've got eight. And you've got eight. And you're our healer. Meaning we're probably going to have to figure out something to do with you. Back then, I was not yet wise enough to know fear. That's very apt considering you have occultophobia this time. Chapter three. Some parts must die. Really now, must they? What parts? Oh, we're doing something, are we? Oh. What the hell? Terrible though it was, he would pay the price for power. Repress. Repress virtue. Appeal to conscience. No, 
No, we don't need any of that conscience crap. So you guys heal after you, after I kill one of you. And I can kill you one every other turn. But you guys are actually doing a fair decent amount of damage to me. Do I unlock a new ability? Ignore. Ignore and forget. Well, I need a heal, so... So the occultist is abandoning his virtues. In other words, his good side. To do what is necessary to gain power. Appeal to self selflessness. Ha. Huh. Well, you're the one that didn't heal. Let's make sure you die, virtue of mine. We'll be having none of those virtues, thank you very much. We are the occultists. We will apply dark power. Oh, mm, that's bad. What's this? Deny. Destroy 99 positive tokens. I mean, okay. Deny your positive tokens. This is a really weird thing for you to be doing, Mr. Occultist. You know, just fighting yourself like this. Appeal to reason. Oh, vulnerable and weak. Oh, you utter prick. I will still kill you, but I will take so much damage in the process. Yeah, no, we can't have that. Die. Bad virtue of mine. Purge. I'm sorry, what did that say? Purge, just 20 damage. And a crit to go on top. The emptiness in him called out across boundless gulfs of unknown space. Okay. For nature abhors a vacuum. I mean, that's fair. Malediction w can target anyone from any position. One to two damage requires self at a two untapped power or above. When target, when damage, bleed to, light to, or burn to. Interesting. Very interesting. Still doesn't help us. Because in the end, we do still need to, you know, what I'm gonna call it. Get the untapped power, which is kind of the problem at the moment. But once we figure out a better source of untapped power, maybe it will be really useful. The Desperate Few. You want to remove light? No. You want stress? Maybe. You want stress? Maybe. You want to sacrifice relics. How many relics do we have? You've got two stress, so giving you that stress is a bad idea. You've got no stress, because so it could help. But we get more rewards from doing this. So, sure. And that works on everyone as well. Definitely worth it. 15% damage for Paducah. Yes, please. And then a bunch of useless items. And then right ahead, another assistance encounter. So we are definitely not running out of light anytime soon. The desperate few once again. A tale for the poor folk in need. Ooh, which of you weaklings will tire first? We gain light, food, and you gain a quirk. Sure, weak grip. That's a terrible quirk. 
Academics map. Alright, what are we fighting? Fight me, first encounter of this area. Ah, oh, it's just a bunch of zombies. Don't know what I expected. You know, I just realized the other advantage to the Plague Doctor is she removes dots as well. Which we can't really do with this team. We're keeping the torch well above the, the 40 mark. At the moment. And I really trust you to have my back. That's stress, not negative relation. Negative relation is worse. I just had my encounter. The watchers howl to their horrid kin. I'm sorry, what was this place? Did I just encounter a second road battle? There, now you're dead. Perfect. And you can heal yourself. Excellent. Really? You fucking survived? I'm sorry, but fix that problem. Thank you. This guy is dead if we can hit him. You're dead just by acting. So... Double dodge, fine. Another dodge, perfect! You did nothing! And then you're killed by that. And then you can cauterize her. And then he dies. Perfect. We are the flame. Burn we are the flame. Hey, look, mastery and max seen. HP. Ooh. So again, what was meant to be here? Ah, fight. Of course. After we were just fighting. How's your relations with everyone, everyone? Ha, ah, if I pick Somali, because it doesn't matter, you will definitely get a book. A relation with him and maybe with Paducah as well. Inseparable! Of the same stone. As well as. One without the other. As well as. Respectful! Tried and tested. A bond to be counted on. Oh, it's a big fat guy. Yep, yeah, nope, be weak. To be fair, in all fairness, I'm not even sure why I'm trying to, you know, control burn, but apparently it works. You did eight damage while weak? Are you serious? Unavoidable end. So are you able to heal? You can! Cool. Heal the guy at the front. Eight HP, not bad. Other than the three bleeds. Yeah, let's make him blind. It'll be easier on all of us. I should cauterize you just to get rid of that annoying bleed, but this thing badly needs to die. Thank you for the miss. Thank you for the miss. And now you're on death's door, meaning screw you. Especially screw you. You ignite healing yourself for whatever amount of damage. You hit them, oh the goody. Suffering begins. Okay, let's have another one of those big heals. Generosity. Six Auto will do. Nonetheless. And then your eight. I love how it's literally Bonnie is a better healer than the occultist. Why did I even consider this to e even be remotely possible in the favor of the occultist. Alright, if I just grab you and move you forward, you're now dead. Meaning you now get the chance to do an inspiring tune. Glorious. 
You can't cauterize. You might as well just kill. I feel we are definitely going to be a bit reliant on that, you know, uh, passive healing that we're going to unlock from this place. I don't know why, it's just a hunch. No, straight down the middle gut, thank you. Would like to know what lies ahead, please. What the hell did I just pick up? Toxic Ickle. Okay. The Wash Tower. Show me what lies ahead, assistance encounter. A crap ton of assistance encounters. I am fine with this. It means I can go for that to avoid that fight right there. But do I want to avoid that fight? Because if I avoid that fight, I can't get more mastery. But we have currently three mastery, which is actually a decent number. For the very first area. So the question is, are we even going to earn any more mastery? Alright, let's see. Uh, you disagree with people. Ooh, that's going to be bad. Who's your relation? Ooh, you don't really have particularly strong with anyone. It's well, warm. well, I got another sharpness trinket and some spud and steaks, so I'm good with this result. I'm going to admit, control burns seems cool, but it just doesn't seem effective. Well, all of you say the assistance encounter, so well done, guys. You picked correctly. So what do we have ahead? A road battle, a hero shrine, a road battle, an assistance encounter, a road battle, an actual battle, and then the boss. This is when we're really going to be put to the test, isn't it? Correct, three out of four people. We are going to the Hero Shrine. Because as much as I would like to go to the, you know, the lair to see what the lair of this place is, the problem is we still need the Hero Shrines. A zombie and a shaman. Guess who's getting pulled straight to the front? What's my chances of killing you? Not high. What's my chances of killing you? Guaranteed. Bonnie, we need to improve your relation with people. Well done, Somali. That thing needed to go, so I'm very glad you did that. Goodbye, Whipper. The past is gone. We have a very mobile Let team and another point of mastery. Wow, we're getting a lot of mastery in this very first place. We're gonna need it. Shrine of Reflection. If I made the fire my friend, it couldn't hurt me anymore. I took too much and gained even more, but... And so the trap snared shut on me. I had no more courage than the buzzards feasting on my failure. I'm not sure who I want, actually. Actually, I'm in pretty sure I'm entirely sure. I want you, just because... You've got to get some more ways to get this untapped power, considering you seem to use it so much, right? Besides, you're the healer. We need to max out the healer like we did with Perithius. Chapter 4. The Guest. Did you say welcome and offer him tea and crumpets? It doesn't seem it. Oh no, you didn't! Drawing vitality from the assembled mediums, he would hold fast against the thing and harness a portion of its power. Okay. Shifting boundary. Self combo. Allies remove combo. What about this? Weakening curse does damage. Dimensional shambler. Inner strength. Target gains... You get untapped power. Mind over matter. Condition blocked. I'm guessing you're not allowed to reach this 10 stress then. Let's make it weak then and see what it does. Make way. K. 
Okay. Look, we just need to keep you weak, I feel. If we really want to do this well. Prepare the host. Alright, let's Put the combo back on me and see what happens. Inhabit. Ow. Yeah, let's... Actually, I'm not convinced I need healing yet. I love how the Shambler's just like, I don't want you, I want your friend. Okay, so if I ever have Inhabit on me, or the combo effect, I take damage. That much just seems obvious. So do I just need to work on doing the two damage every time? Of making it weak? Oh, you heal stress every round. Oh, you absolute divine bastards. I wish I had realized that earlier. Right, heal me. Of the bleed. And weaken the shambler. Weaken the shambler, I said. I definitely feel as though I need the untapped power for this. And that I should be trying to get that. Burning stars. Yeah, let's start working on my unchecked power. Which I feel I'm definitely going to need. Inner strength, let's go. You know, I have two, meaning you can do the burning stars, and there's no reason not to right now. Burning stars, death blow, let's go! Imbued with strange currents of infernal origin, this apotheosis was complete. What did you gain? The burning stars, ranged, back row, a uh, bunch of damage, ignores block. N target n target has target gains combo, but you require yourself to be on two or more mastery or unchecked power or whatever it's called. A lot of your abilities require this thing, and you don't seem to have much of a way of gaining it, other than by pure chance or killing. But if you're killing, you don't really need the unchecked power because the reason you need the unchecked power is to kill. But if you've already killed, then Okay. So what do people want? You want to leave. The moon is not right for this. You want to help. You want to sacrifice the light. How many relics do we have? Twin... Mm, we don't actually have too many relics. If I choose you, you become unfriendly with Baduka and even more unfriendly with Bonnie. If I choose Bonnie, they become friendly, more friendly with Baduka, but even more unfriendly with... Uh, the best choice is literally you for the relics. What's that? Wild tea purges a negative quirk. Small chance of purging a positive quirk. Hey, it's worth it. So now we've got a road battle, a resistance encounter, and then the Guardian. Oh, good lord. I'm scared of the Guardian because we're basically all melee damage. Time for another burning pile. You want to leave, you want to fight, you want to fight. And you fighting gives blindness. You lose a bit of relation with Baduka, but you can sacrifice that, and you gain some with Somali. Fine. Oh, 
I'm sorry, two explodey dudes? Well, at least the one at the back goes first, so they're just gonna waste each other's time. Alright, here we are, the final boss. At the final guardian, not the final boss, what the hell am I on about? The first guardian of the area. What do we need to fight? A bunch of really bad things I don't want to fight. Including this bastard. Die. On to the next. Ooh, guaranteed crit and ignore 20% of resistances. Deal! Stupendous. Could have been better! You die, glorious. You have a bit of bleed on you. Unfortunate, but nothing to we can't deal with. You frankly need to... I don't have enough to care enough. God! You're giving me healing cells. Deal. I'll move on. Die, Infernalist! Or Immolationist! Come to the front with you! How fun, you didn't decide to move back. Oh, well, I mean, if you're guaranteed to crit, you might as well just do a normal attack, right? Yeah? Yeah! Then again, it's got Death Storm. Then again, it's already bleeding. Who cares? Right, thing is, I can actually pull you forward in order to push that thing back, giving me more time. Really? You can attack the, gu the, the guy in the third row, I suppose. You can inspiring tune to stop that. Aren't you going to push yourself forward? Yes! Yes, you are. And then you die. The flame spreads with you. This song's a duet. You chose the absolute perfect timing! That's now dead. All marks of the unprepared. You heal 9, you heal 12. You're below the HP mark, already below the HP mark for your buff. You probably need healing more, but you've still got a dot on you and yours runs out next turn. Meaning I'll be able to heal her next turn, but not you, so... I hate the fact everything has, like, guaranteed debuff resistance, you know? It is so annoying. It's 20% as well. Another impediment. Cleared with impunity. What do we get? 50% movement resistance. Oh, goody. But 15% chance to resist stress. Yes, please. Right. How the hell am I going to do this? Make you blind. That'll do for now. Next. Get rid of your dodges. And you... Iron Swan! Now you're gonna go first and give yourself another dodge, aren't you? No, you're not. Ooh. In other words, I can do this. Or not. Ooh. 
Either way, I still consider you the biggest threat. Go to hell. Man, that smokescreen worked wonders. Can everything please stop resisting? Ow! The slow and bleed! Begins. Okay, she can heal herself next turn. You worship, making you a bastard. You can use your bandages on yourself instead of the actual what I'm gonna call it, and then you can blind him. Of uh, why do I try? Why do I ever try just debuffing? It clearly doesn't work. I am impressed that worked. And now, the greatest test okay. of all. Okay. That's bad. You can't even heal from that position, can you? No. Or move forward. Use the bandage. Well done. You're an ass. If you ever needed a mega heal, crit for eight. You know what? Whatever. Dragged back from the brink. The eternal advantage to worm construction is the fact it's unlimited. You're weak to melee this turn, but we've got strength, or at least I think we did. No, we had we, we got strength, but we had weak, which is why nothing happened. So, big heal! Oh, yes! Move yourself forward for some stupid reason, and then you can do the same. You need a stress heal next turn, unquestionably, unquestioned, definitely unquestioned. Focus. Take a breath and focus. Relationship is tested. They're hopeful. They're hopeful they can defeat this giant massive ass. Now you. Dragged back from the brink. I mean, it's something. Once again, teetering on that. Dragged back from the brink. Crit heal, yes. Oh, another two bit relation with the pe the pair of you. Ah, the songs will write together. Stress healing, just what what the doctor ordered. Along with proper damage, that's normally what else it orders, but so be it. Once again, teetering on that terrible precipice. Please don't get max stress. We don't need you having max stress. You need to inspiring song. Yep. You need to worm construction. And then you can do that. Generosity. What a welcome one, nonetheless. And now it dies because it's burning, right? Fuck you! Stop gaining stress! You just gain extra and extra stress for no pecking reason! Oh, what the Christ! An interminable conflict. Three hits! Are you serious? Okay, we are well and truly overburdened now. Who gives a damn? We got that gilded thing, which will be very nice. Who is very stressed and who needs to resist stressing? You do. That doesn't help me because I still earn the... Have the bloody... What am I call it? Fine, you get it. 
Next, I need all I don't need the bread. Okay, guys, we're good. Let's move out. Don't get negative relationship with people, Bonnie. We've got a thing that stops that, or at least reduces it. To be fair, you guys have been not getting much negative relationship at all, so... No, stop it! We kept the torch above 40? We're good. The roaring heart does much for the weary body. Even more, perhaps, Thank you. for the restless soul. Tell me, what did everyone gain? Rummager, peace. Ooh, everyone gained a positive one. Amateur what? Amateur armor smith. I like that. Hard skinned. Oh, yeah, you need that. Rummager, meh. Peacemaker, love it. Especially with how you are with Bonnie. I definitely want 100% scout chance for Forgotten Shrines. Because if anything, we do definitely go for Forgotten Shrines. We have six mastery points, goddammit. We got plenty of stuff. Alright, guys. Play a deck of cards. How do you all do? Bonnie and the other... G and our healer hate each other even more. Oh, goody. We can go to the sluice this time. For extra loot and mastery and stuff. I see no problem with this. So, you gained two new abilities. What are their upgrades? Improve damage and reduce resistances to all the stuff that, you know, they can apply. Not too bad, I guess. And that's damage, basically. Get skyrocketed. Okay. Well, we definitely want to upgrade your worm construction. Okay, guys. Let's... 15% chance of negative of 50 of negative affinity changes. Oh, okay. You'll find no rest in the hag's cauldron. Aren't you nice? To hell with it all. Let's go to the sluice. Abandoned sluts. waterways. Home now to far worse than rats. Because I'm pretty sure the sluice is a bonus area. So what bo better bonus area to go to than this? The sluice. Tread carefully and quickly. This is swine country. Yes, I realize that. Uh, let's go to the ac to the fight. Apparently, according to everyone. I mean, I know nothing usually happens at the academic studies, but still, come on, guys. You love everyone, Somali. I love it. I might as well just pick either one of you because it doesn't matter which one I pick because you both love him and neither one will be affected by the... by the occultist. Jesus Christ, you big art... big... Oh no, you're not Wilbur. You're just a regular brute. Oh, okay. That's not so bad then. I love how the Jester laughs every time he's hit as well. It's an interesting thing about him. Oh, just kill that thing. Oh. You skitter, giving yourself strength, okay. You apply more burn, because the pigs don't seem to be very particularly resistant to burn. Nope, no they're not. Gore. That's an ability. That was a pathetic ability that did nothing. Man, you are burning quite heavily, Mr. Piggy Man. I'm beginning to think you might need a stress heal. At least we get along. Ooh, who's that? You and Bonnie? Oh no, you and Alizard. Oh! And they have become... While the heart still huh. beats, desire will never die. That's an interesting relationship. So much so that it's lagging the game. How hard are they going at it? 
look, you do this, we get bonuses, you lose a little relation with Somali, who cares, you earn it back, but most importantly, you gain some with the, the cultist, which you are so nearly at the breaking point for. Impervious enemies, 50% stun resist. Oh, that's a good thing, I don't rely on stunning. Come, scream into the, the wind with me. You know, that can mean many different things considering your relationship with each other there, Miss Hellion. I, I, you know, it has just occurred to me, what kind of relation must it be to be in a relation with the Hellion? Because you're clearly not the top one. You're clearly not the top. You are my heart. Ah, oh, oh, that's bigger than any healing you can physically do. Marvelous. What did we get? Ins Instulating insignia. If rank one, 15% debuff. Within. Tempting, but we seem to have a bit of a problem in staying in one place with this team, because this team is extremely mobile. That's Wilbur, isn't it? No, that's a regular brute. You know, every time I see the big fat thing now, I just think it's Wilbur. Just because they don't look that dissimilar. Huh, it's got combo on it. That means if you hit this, it'll bleed and so will that one. Sweet. Unavoidable end. Lean on me if you have to. She'll never admit that. She'll never admit to needing that. The occultist seems oddly romantic. I want to see more of your interactions. Oh, nice crit. Are we going to end this, though? That's not dead, but now it is good. A slow dissection. And now you're dead no matter An what. Perfect. End. Can I heal? No. No, I can't. I guess you're just staying like that. Bonus damage unranged. Again. We don't have range damage. Another Warren. How do we want to go? Hmm. Who's got the least relations with people? If I pick Bonnie, she gets the relation with Baduka, improves it with Somali, and improves it with you, but we don't get any benefits. I have to. It's just too important for the relations. While the heart still beats, desire will never die. So, a threesome's going on in this carriage now. Because I thought you were already in a relation with the occultist. Or are you cheating on him? Which I wouldn't put past you. I guess sometimes a woman just needs the love of another woman. You know what, considering that now, it's actually no wonder you two might actually dislike each other. It actually makes a lot of sense now. Loving rivalry and all that. Tonight, let's jam. Guys, can you- I love the relation with all of you, but let me have a turn, dammit! Okay. Glorious dead, another point of mastery. I think that means we earned two from here, which is good. Three from here, even. Even better. Get rid of you, you don't matter. I mean, I guess I can do double that, double up on that. I'm not sure if it actually helps you much. I mean, I guess that's ranged, so if I actually equip you with that. But in order to equip you with that, I need to unlock more untapped. Still need to get that untapped power. But if I do, you do just 
kill things. One piggy's burning and bleeding, and one piggy's burning, and then another piggy just needs to go bloody go to hell. This is no Holy! I understand the bastard was weak, but come on! Alright, if ever there was a need for one of these, good man. Dragged back from the brink. Okay. Well, quite frankly, you needed a thing just so you can do that to them. Bye-bye. We are the Okay. Burning. Man, there's a lot of pigs down here. There are a lot of pigs down here. Your perfect relation with everyone, your perfect relation with everyone. And then it's basically just Bonnie and you that... D Bonnie and the occultists which don't have a decent relation with each other. Which is fair, because they're both love rivals over the Hellion. There's Wilbur! Isn't it? Yep. Armor plus. Yep, he had to be in here somewhere, didn't he? I'm honestly feeling I might need the the double unchecked power today. All right, Wilbur, what are you doing? I forget what you can do. Battlement. You can do that. Okay. For you, my friend. Ah, oh, they're getting along now. Glorious. An opportunity. Thank me later, th sweet thing. You know, at, at times I really wish that the lines that they that they obviously have between their characters were a little more personalized, like the. What am I call it? Like the Hellion telling her lover to come with them and scream in the wind. It was quite a nice line. Jesus Christ, with you and your crits. Oh, this is guaranteed. This guaranteed crit. Let's see. Mwah! Okay, that, good sirs, is why we clearly need the. The Jester to have the 100%. The, what am I call it? To get the double unchecked power for the 100% crit chance. Goodbye, Wilbur. You fought well. It's not well enough for me. Also, have you burnt every single round, you? A slow down. Seven leagues to the inn. Ah, oh, we're on the last track now, are we? It's time for us to go home and encounter something else. Enemy ambush, shuffle. I mean, he can... What's first? You're first. We can... We're in a very awkward situation right now. Because we're in one of those very rare situations where we can't position ourselves properly. Please get pulled forward. Excellent! Right. So, yeah. It's percentile rolls as well. That's the most annoying bit about it all. It's percentile roll. So how low must I be rolling Excellent work. to get a one on a percentile roll? Okay, you need a heal. You're dead, goodbye. A calculated generosity. 
but a welcome one. No, it's not. Shut up. Alright, we need to kill that. Thank you for wasting your strength. You do that. You pulterize. Big heal. Very nice. You worm reconstruction yourself. Seven. It'll do. You die. And... God damn it. If it was incredible, she would have killed. They will not touch you. See, this is why she is best waifu. She will protect you. She, she, is, she is the woman that will protect her man. Oh, you gave us strength. Well, this thing's dead. Well and truly. Oh, Glimmer of Hope. Okay. And here we are at the inn that, have sudden, that is apparently existing within just outside the sluice of pigmen without getting destroyed somehow. Rest tonight. Under the mountain. The river's song. Minus three gaze. stress. Nice. What did everyone get? Tangle, Tangle Scrounger. Okay. Blundering Fool. Great. Neat Freak and Lurker. That's quite tempting, actually. But you had to get Blundering Fool, really. Learn what can be taught. Well, I've got three, th three what am I call it? The, the wild tea to purge a negative quirk. The meditative totem to purge a negative quirk. Some very nice big rare trinkets to allow la to allow mega dodge on start. We've got a few options. Yeah. But everyone, I'm all out of time for today's episode, so we'll have to see how team without the plague doctor continues next time. For you see everyone, I'm all out of time for today's episode, which I'm pretty sure I just already said. So what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today? I've been your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.